So welcome to another lesson and we still talk about the Taylor series but in today's video you talk about when you have more than a function so we've learned how to find the Taylor series of f of x so today we expand now like what we have a multivariable function like f of x y how do we find the Taylor series of it and we will be using that to solve this particular example here. So we'll be finding the Taylor series for this function. You realize that this is a multivariable function. It has two, like it's a function of two variables, x and y. So you find this about the point zero zero as far as the terms x squared, x, y, and y squared. So we'll be interested in these terms. So that means we we'll truncate our expansion at a term containing these things. Alright. Okay, so I'm going to kind of renovate the students of mathematics KNUST. Please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel for more videos as well. So let's start. So you know we have f of x, y to be this. This is our function. And we're evaluating it at the point zero zero. So that means that our a b is zero zero all right so when we are finding for the Taylor series of a function which is multivariable like f of x y the formula is given us our f of x y is given us f of a b plus the first derivative partial derivative with respect to x of a b s minus a plus the partial derivative with respect to y of a b y minus b plus one over two factorial multiplying everything here i hope you can see that all right so you realize that this term here is going to give us our y squared this one is going to give us x y this is going to give us s squared so you realize that with what we are doing um the question says our a b is equal to zero zero so that means that is the general formula where you find a and b we put zero zero inside i hope you get it so you realize that now f of a b will be f of zero zero because a b is zero zero in this question so you get f of x zero zero times x plus f of y zero zero times y so you see x minus zero is the same as x y minus zero is the same as y that's why you see just y there and this will give you one over two factorial f of x x zero zero so x minus zero here the same as s squared then plus two times what you find here and plus the last thing so you realize that we doing the expansion up to this point is going to give us our y squared x y and s squared and that's what the question was interested in so you see as far as the term s squared x y and y squared so let's move on so that means we have to find for f of zero zero we have to find for this that this that this and that right so we just have to do some partial derivatives here so we know that our f of x y is this so when you put in the point zero zero then we are going to get so wherever you find x you put zero there wherever you find y you put zero there you're going to get to lane three times three which is going to give us lane nine so that means that f of zero zero is lane nine then with the second one we have to find the partial derivative with respect to x so when you find that of this particular function here you are going to get one over x plus three and when you put in the point zero zero that is going to give you one over three so know that i didn't find the partial derivatives here because um you are fine for the taylor series and that one is multi variable calculus right so when you put in a point you're going to get one over three when you find a partial derivative with respect to y it's going to give you s y and when you put in the point zero zero that's going to give you one over three 
then when you find the second derivative so now we have this here and we have that here so when you find the second derivative of your f of fx which is fxs that's del squared f over del s squared is going to give you what we have here and when you put in the value for x which is zero you're going to get negative one over nine the same applies to our f y y so you can confirm the differentiation realize it's correct now it's going to be a negative one over y plus three squared then when we put in the value zero zero we are going to get negative one over nine okay then let's move on so we're left with the last thing to find that's f of x y so that's going to give us zero right because our f of x is um one over x plus three so when you find f of x y you realize that there is no y component so the whole of this becomes a constant which is zero and from the clearest rule you know that when a function is continuous it's a nice function this is equal to this so you realize that our f of y2 was um one over y plus three we decide to find f of y x since there is no s component here this also gives us zero that means f of x y is equal to zero so we have all the important things that we need to make the substitution into the main formula. So the main formula was what you have here. And you've been able to compute this, compute that, this, 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 and this. So the next thing is just to make in our substitution. So let's go and make our substitution. So making our substitution is going to give us ln 9 because f of 0, 0 is ln 9 plus 1 over 3x plus 1 over 3y plus 1 over 2 factorial all multiplying everything that we have here so negative 1 over 9 s squared plus 2 times 0 because f of x y 0 0 was 0 x y minus 1 over 9 y squared so when you decide to expand this further you are going to get ln 9 plus 1 over 3x then plus 1 over 3y then minus so 1 over 2 times this will give us negative 1 over 18 s squared this time the whole of this because you have 0 here is going to give us 0 times x y which is the same as 0 and 1 over 2 factorial times negative 1 over 9 y squared gives us negative 1 over 18 y squared so this happens to be the Taylor series expansion for f of x y equals ln 3 plus x times 3 plus y about the point 0 0 thank you very much don't forget to like the video subscribe to the youtube channel and all the best